We're all very busy and we want to get a healthy meal on the table. We may not have the time. You don't have to love cooking. You just have to be able to get a meal on the table. And in my book, Skinny Girl Solutions, I talk about using what you have. I always talk about using what you have, whether it's in your closet or other areas, but especially in the kitchen. You have to have staples that you already have that basically are there when you come away from, when you come back from a vacation, you can just go into your fridge and pull some things out, things that don't go bad quickly, things that you can stock up on. So there are different categories. I always have, and you can fill in your own grains, etc. but I always have whole wheat pasta in different shapes. I always have couscous. I always have quinoa, which is the high protein grain. I always have brown rice. This stuff all stays in your cabinet. That's the grain department. In the vegetables, I always keep frozen vegetables. I don't care that famous chefs have vegetable gardens in their backyard. We don't all have time for that. So vegetables in the freezer are better than no vegetables at all. And they're st they still have a lot of vitamins. So I always have frozen broccoli, spinach, peas. These are things that will brighten up a dish and get your vegetables into you and your kids' lives. And you could just walk in your house and know that you have it already in your fridge and in your cabinets. And then in the protein category, if you're a vegetarian, I always have tofu. I always have some kind of protein, whether it's a individual shrimp. You can get these at Trader Joe's. Costco has big bags of it. These places also have white chicken breasts and you get them individually packaged because a lot of times you have this whole package and then you defrost the whole package and that's a pain. So make sure even if you buy it in bulk, individually wrap and package so you can take portions for as many people as you need. If you're single especially, you might only need one portion. Okay, then you have your greens department. When I, when I come home, I want to have a salad, I want to have a main course, and I want it to all look pretty and bright, and I want it to look like it took a lot of time. Just be creative. So the reason I have romaine here is because romaine, it, when you buy the romaine hearts, lasts about two weeks, versus if you, buy, if you buy lettuce in a bag already chopped up, it lasts like three days. You notice how it gets that sliminess in the bottom, it starts to smell? It's a waste. Anything handled means it's been processed. So the minute they start chopping it in some some factory, that means it's been processed. So buy the food whole. Okay, so here's your romaine. Then the same thing, pear tomatoes I always have, or the grape tomatoes, they call them pear or grape. I keep them in my fridge whole, and then I cut them in half on the spot, because they last also a couple weeks, okay? So you can change your food. This is why I don't have avocado here. This is why I don't have mushrooms. Those things go bad quickly. These are all things you could just have and pull any day. Then you pick, say you want to make your husband think you're cooking something different every night. You pick a different cheese. These cheeses last a while in your fridge. So not a creamy cheese, which is gonna go bad quickly, but this, this is Parmesan, get the whole brick. Don't buy it grated, because that's, again, already a process. Just take it yourself and peel it over. No kidding, no, you don't have to be a genius to do this. You know, you can pick your cheese. So today I'm gonna pick Parmesan. Tomorrow it could be blue cheese, the next day it could be feta, and your husband won't know the difference. Your kids won't know the difference. They'll just think you, you did something fancy. Same thing happens with nuts. One day I'll decide, okay, today I'm doing toasted pine nuts. And all these things will stay in your cabinet forever or your refrigerator. All right, so here's your salad, and then just switch up your dressing. Pick your different dressing. This is called using what you have. This will not go bad. Then as far as the main course, so I picked just whole wheat pasta, because I always have it in my cabinet, and then I always have things around that I could add. Tomorrow it could be chicken or tofu, but today it's gonna be pesto. You can either make fresh pesto and freeze it in ice cube trays and pull it out as you need it to cook with, or you can buy the store-bought pesto and keep it in the fridge. It also lasts a good amount. You don't have to go to the supermarket every day. And you mix in your pesto, and then things like sun-dried tomatoes you can keep in the cabinet in a jar, or dry and then reconstitute them. And then the same thing with the pine nuts. You can choose a different nut if you want, but switch it out. Use what you have. If you wanted to have one fresh element that day, you could go to the store and get fresh basil, big deal. And then the shrimp, you just add it in and you can saute this all together in a pot. The point is, this whole thing takes no time. It's very fancy. I've left a little bit of the pasta cooking water in the pasta so it makes the sauce a little thicker. And then just add a little of the fun stuff on top. The whole dinner would take 15 minutes and you look like you're a big shot. And you can also take some cheese. If you're, you know, I would be very impressed if I were at someone's house and had that. So the point is, get creative, use what you have, accessorize what you already have in your kitchen. Thank you.